make clear is I'm not looking to create a new sex offender ghetto. He's a former sex offender, a landlord renting to other tenants who are convicted abusers, including former priest Paul Shanley. The man in the central Massachusetts town of Ware tells our Louisa Moeller he understands his tenants, and in a story you'll see only on WBZ, he doesn't believe sex offenders should have to register once they're released. I find him really quite engaging. If Joel Pentlarge seems largely unfazed by his new tenant, pedophile priest Paul Shanley, that's because he is. Pentlarge calls the 86-year-old who was convicted of repeatedly raping a boy a sweet old man and says the two have things in common, both of their photos tacked on a board inside the Ware Police Department. He's an older gay man, uh, so that's something that I can relate to. Pentlarge, like Shanley, is a level three sex offender who served three and a half years behind bars for rape. I had consensual sex with four 15-year-old boys uh, who were not legally able to consent to the sex that we were having. After his release, he became a landlord in Ware, offering a helping hand to sex offenders looking for housing. The one thing I can do to reduce the likelihood of somebody reoffending is to provide them with a safe place to live. He won't give numbers, but according to the sex offender registry, seven live on Pentlarge owned properties, four including Shanley in this Pulaski Street home. In fact, Ware has a much larger number of level three sex offenders than neighboring towns, with 24 in total. But the police chief says that doesn't make it any less safe. We need a great police department. Um, well, close-knit community. For his part, Pentlarge says he's worked hard not to reoffend. Do you think what you did was wrong? Yes, it was clearly was wrong. It clearly was harmful. And not just to the four boys involved, but to my family, to the people I was working with. Now an advocate for the abolition of the sex offender registry. It's state-sponsored prejudice. He says he knows what will prevent sex abuse. But it mainly involves classic good parenting of having open and loving relationships with their kids. A spokesperson for the Department of Public Safety told me the Sex Offender Registry Board doesn't have any power over where a sex offender may live. In where, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Oh,